Hello friends, I am Bishop Andy C. Luter, and I am delighted to come to you with my video blog for the month of October. This month, I want to give kudos to the hundreds of young people who responded to the events in Gina, Louisiana. The issue for me here is not so much the, spe the specific fights of the high school students. It is obvious and apparent that violence is not a solution to any conflict. But what I am encouraged with is the awesome way young people from all across this country responded to the apparent unfair distribution of justice in Gina. For those who think that today's generation has lost their appetite for social justice and civil advocacy, the response to Gina clearly illustrates that the spirit of Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and W.E.D. Du Bois is alive and well in the hearts and spirits of this post-modern generation. While I applaud the work and involvement of both Reverend Jesse Jackson and Reverend Al Sharpton, it was clear to see that the energy and passion of this movement was the work of people like Steve Harvey, Michael Bazden, and so many other young people who chose to make a difference in this issue. I was so proud to see young people, especially college students from across the width and breadth of this country, make personal sacrifices to attend what has been the most vibrant public demonstration of protests since perhaps the March on Washington in 1963. Friends, my hair is a bit grayer now and I don't move as fast as I used to, but I'm so delighted to see that in the actions and hearts of this next generation is a sense of responsibility that encourages those of us who are moving into the upper ranks of age and longevity. We're pleased to pass the baton of social responsibility onto some very capable hands. Well, friends, I'm Bishop Andy C. Luter and I want to thank you for allowing me this moment to share with you. Until next time, we love you, God loves you, and we pray that you continue to be blessed.